this is Justin Fricky, the forage and cover crop specialist with Millborn Seeds. Um, what we're standing in is our optigraze blend, and uh, we've used this for a few years, and we know what the species need to be in an annual grazing mix such as this, uh, but we really need to figure out how to utilize it the best. And that's where we get the most questions, and that's where we really need to, to figure out uh, how do we put these annual grazing systems into part of our cropping system so that we can utilize cattle on the land and still make it profitable. And that's what we're that's what we're doing out here. Uh, that's what we're gonna go through in this video, okay? So this is a 17 acre piece and we've got 30 acre pairs out here. We've got 38 pairs out here, okay? Um, the goal is to get about 50 days of grazing off of this 17 acres, okay? And that will, that will cash flow really nicely and we'll have some profit at the end um, compared to just, uh, either dry lotting these cows or putting them out to, um, to a custom grazer. Okay, so what we do is um, we've got about 15 paddocks set up in here and we use poly wire to separate those paddocks into about a one and a half acre pieces. And then we're moving every day. Um, you know, utilizing a four wheeler arranger and, and coming by and, and putting it, stepping in post and um, and then reeling up your wire and, and keeping it hot that way is, is pretty simple. I've just got a small tank that I've got above ground water uh, piped into and I can just hand move that uh, each night. So really it takes me about 20 minutes uh, every night to come out here and do that. And um, Some guys say that that sucks, it's a pain in the butt to do. Um, you know the argument there is I'd rather do that in a nice summer night um, than feed hay in the fall or winter and if I can take pressure off of grass now in the summer and that grass can carry me longer in the fall or the winter, um, those are nights I don't have to feed hay. So that's a good thing, okay? So as you can see, we've only, um, you know, we, we've left about a foot and a half of stubble out there. and we, we haven't allowed those cows to just grub it to the ground and that's why we've moved every day so that we can get some regrowth off of those um, paddocks and we can come back in here in 25 or 30 days and, and regraze those same paddocks, okay? Um, everything in here regrows pretty well and that's why they're in here. The, the oats, right now they're in the boot stage, so they'll tiller back up. There's Italian ryegrass beneath here that will continue to regrow. Uh, then the grazer radish and hunter and Winfred brassica regrow also. And then there's some purple top turnips out here. Um, you know, those are giving us the bulbs, and those won't regrow very well, but um, they'll supply some good feed here as well. Okay, so um, that's the mix. That's really how we're utilizing it. You know, and we've got some goals set in mind. We've kind of got a plan in place to, to how we can utilize it the best. And, um, um, and it, it should be able to do this. This is a, a, a great stand and a great example, um, and a good, good example of how you can provide a little extra feed for grazing for your system as well. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.